Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the inlet fill tube on your dishwasher. This particular tube runs from the inlet fill valve to the water inlet manifold on the side of your tub. If it becomes damaged or cracked and may cause a leak, then you'll need to replace it. It's a really easy job. And let me show you how we do it. Now to change the inlet fill tube on a dishwasher, you will need to remove it from the cabinets. So before we begin, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dishwasher and we'll also want to turn off the water supply. Now once we've done that, we'll need to detach the mounting tabs on the top of the dishwasher tub that secure it to the bottom of your cabinets. And you'll also need to remove the lower access panel so that we can remove the inlet water supply and disconnect the power at the terminal block. We'll cut the dishwasher, we'll remove any of the items that are on that upper rack and then we're going to remove the rack. Now to do that we'll need to release the rack stops and remove them from the rails. This particular style has a little tab in the center. Just depress that, lift the tab on the outside edge and then you can slide them right off. We'll then pull the complete upper rack right out of the dishwasher. And cut those rails back in out of the way and close it up. Now that we have the dishwasher pulled out of the cabinets, you can go to the left hand side and you'll see that fill tube and it's held to the inlet manifold with a spring clamp. So we're just going to loosen that clamp with a pair of pliers, we'll slide it up onto the tube, and then while supporting that manifold, we'll pull that hose off. Remove the clamp all together at this point. Now it is difficult to remove that tube from behind this manifold without damaging something. So we're going to go to the inside of the tub and we'll loosen the nut that secures that manifold to the side of the tub and then we can pull that old tube out and install the new one. Now with the rack pulled out of the way we have access to this nut that secures that inlet manifold to the side of the tub. Just gently loosen it with the pliers. And then you can unthread it by hand. And that will allow us to push that inlet manifold out far enough to pull the hose in from behind it. And then you can push the manifold away from the side of the tub release the fill tube. Now we'll take the new tube, we'll slide that up into place, and you'll note that there are two serrations that are a little wider on that tube, and they will line up behind this manifold. And will snap easily into place. So we can now push that manifold tight up against the tub and make sure that the rubber gasket in behind is still intact. We'll retighten the end of that opening and line up this plastic nut. And tighten it with the pliers. Next we'll take our clamp and we'll slide that onto that tube, we'll form our loop, fit it down over the manifold, make sure it lays flush up against the tub and then we can slide that clamp down into position. And now we'll go to the front of the dishwasher where we can disconnect the old tube and connect the new one. Now we've tilted the dishwasher back to give you a better view of what you need to do here. So first of all, we're going to remove that single quarter inch hex head screw that secures the valve to the base of the dishwasher. 
and we'll slide the valve away from that frame and pull it out where we can access it. We'll begin by removing the clamp, just compress it and slide it up onto the tubing, and then pull the old tubing off the valve. Pull that through that opening. We'll remove the clamp to install on the new tube. Get the new tubing through the opening in the side of the tub. Slide the clamp up onto the tubing. fit that new inlet tube or the barb on the end of the valve. Line it up so that we know there won't be any kinks in it. And we'll slide that clamp into position. the valve back onto the frame. And then reinstall the retaining screw. We're now ready to stand the dishwasher up and we'll push it back into position and reconnect the inlet water supply and turn that supply on to check for leaks. Once we verify that we have no water leaks, we can go ahead and put the access panel back on. Now when reinstalling the two-piece access panel, we'll take the narrow portion first. We're going to set that over the lower portion of that frame and make sure that the screw holes are visible on either side. And take the upper portion Tuck it into position. Then line up those screw holes over the slotted holes on the bottom piece. And just put the screws in, but not tight. Once the dishwasher is secure in the cabinets, we can then slide that lower piece down until it's flush with the floor. And once you have it flush, you can then tighten the screws to secure. So now we just open that dishwasher back up. And we begin by pulling those rails forward. Install the rack with the rear wheels first. There's one side and then the other. Slide it in until the front wheels engage. So all wheels are on the tracks. Then we can reinstall the rack stops. The tab is pointing outward. Slide it into the slotted openings. Press down on that center portion and then lock it in place. We can now reconnect the power and your repair is complete.